I'm Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about things to focus on to change. If you are looking to really balance your hormones, really correct any hormonal issues that you would have and lose weight, keep a result, feel better, all of those things, right? How often do we get stuck in trying to follow a path and then realize, uh, yeah, this isn't working for me or why is it working for them and not me? Why is it that this seems to go in the wrong direction, like instead of losing weight, I'm gaining weight, or yeah, I'm losing weight, but oh, I feel like garbage, or yeah, I did, uh, you know, some uh, really restrictive diets and I lost my period and now I can't get it back or it's not regular. Things like um, uh, shows, like bikini shows, right? Fitness competitions, things like that. I can't tell you how many gals I work with that have done fitness. How many of you know somebody who's done a fitness competition or you've done one? right? So hard on the body, so hard on your hormonal health overall, right? So if you're looking at really taking care of your hormonal health and saying, okay, I want to balance this. I want this to get better. And <laughs> not only do I want it to get better, but I want to keep it. I want to keep it in results that I work so hard for, right? Yes. Yes. Here's a list to start with. See, these are some basic things to start with. Um, also, for more information, here is the wait list for my next 12 week challenge. Right there in the comments, make sure you get on the wait list. Do not wait, do not hesitate. There's so much great info on there that you can learn more about your body, hormone system, and learn if the 12 week program is the right thing for you. It's a meal guide, grocery list, all the support and everything else that you would need to start shifting and making these changes. Hi, Katie! <laughs> so, um, it's an amazing thing when you start actually working with your body and system and how it works and functions. Amazing. Yes. Yes. So when we're looking at these things here, what do I need to change, right? To balance hormones and lose weight. My nutrition. What do I need to change about my nutrition? I already eat really healthy. Well, great. Are you just eating healthy or are you eating for your hormones, right? I tell, uh, um, I teach all about this how to eat, what to eat each week. This is not a restrictive plan. This is not like, oh, only eat like certain calories, blah, 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 right? No, this is eat these things that match with estrogen, eat these things that match with progesterone, help balance everything to help maintain your body's uh, normal cycle, physiology throughout the month. Tons more info in my book, The Female Fat Solution. If you are in perimenopause or menopause, I have The Female Menopause Solution book also on Amazon for you to check out talks about nutrition for menopause, whole different ball game, because it's a whole different body you're living in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. So are you eating for your hormones and cycle? That's gonna help keep them balanced, meaning ebbing and flow. Oh, this is a really terrible, I drew this fast. I'm so sorry. The <laughs> this is my artistic rendition of what the hormonal cycle is. <laughs> You get the picture, right? Uh, it's different every week of the month, right? You're, you have a different body all the time, all the time. Yeah, yeah. So of course you're gonna need to eat to help support that. Same thing with exercise. Exercise, if you're doing the same workouts all the time and you're not leaning into the benefits that estrogen or progesterone has for you, you're missing out completely. You're missing out completely. And women burn fat and build muscle completely differently than men. And a lot of that besides nutrition is in the exercise that you do. These are lifestyle things. There's no like magic trick, right? And again, I do talk about exercise and everything in this book, The Female Fat Solution. I also have more resources on my um, YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy. So, Subscribe there to stay updated on all this great information. But these two main things can help keep your system on a regular schedule, keep results, all those things. That's how it should be, right? That's how it should be. Once you have this down, once you're at the place you want to be, oh, it's so easy to maintain because you're still working with your body physiology. Most of us aren't there though. Let's be honest. Most of us aren't there where, where it's a point where you're like, oh, oh yes. I'm just in maintenance mode, loving life right now. Yay. <laughs> a lot of us are like, um, I feel like garbage. I'm not sleeping well. I have no energy and uh, I'm bloated all the time. My gut health sucks and I just can't lose weight no matter what I do. Mm -hmm. So here's some of these things to really focus on. Cut toxins. I just posted on this on my stories. <sighs> BPA, right? that was in plastic and bottles and all those other things. 
It was originally designed to mimic estrogens, right? That's what, or they found that it mimicked estrogens, right? So they were going to use it to help uh, boost estrogens in the female body. And they were like, oh, look, we can make plastic with it. Oh, yay. Oh, it's not funny. It's not funny. What's ridiculous is how much crap is out there. If you start looking at it, it's overwhelming. Think about just in the past six months, like where you live, where you are, right? The chemicals that you come into contact with, you know, cleaning solutions, all those things, right? Clothing, right? Um, materials, like markers, right? If you are not doing things to cut toxins out of your body, they are affecting your liver and your hormones. What? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, not great. Not great. It just, it is what it is. Toxins interrupt how well your body works and functions. And <laughs> by default then messes up your metabolism, right? Your metabolism is like a dial, right? It's not like necessarily just on or off. It's like a dial. And the more toxins and everything you have, the more that dial goes down. The worse your exercise is for your physiology, dial goes down. The worse your nutrition is for your hormones, dial goes down. Dial goes down on the metabolism, right? Because your body goes in fat storage mode and it's like, oh, oh, look, there's, there's stress here. We're not eating the right things. Oh, toxins. Yes, please. Let's hold everything in there. Mm -hmm. And then last thing's here, stress and sleep. Again, so, so, so important to moderate mitigate, manage, oh, M words, I did not plan that, <laughs> but try and rein in the stress, right? Or um, some of the things I, I use to describe this are, you might have a lot of stress in your life. Like you, you're a bucket and the stress like fills your bucket. You're already right at that brim, right? Right at that brim. You know, you know, when you fill a glass, like all the way full and there's that little like bubble on top of it. It's just like, oh, it's just the air pressure holding that in from spilling out, but one more drop and it overflows, right? Oh my gosh. So most of the time we focus on, okay, emptying out the bucket, right? Let's empty out the bucket. Sure. Absolutely. But if every day your life is stressful where you're like, yeah, the bucket's just getting filled or I don't know how to empty the bucket. What do I do? Cut the bottom off. That sounds great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't we just get you a bigger bucket? As you work on other things in your life, as you work on decreasing stress, as you work on emptying that bucket more frequently, get you a bigger bucket. That's way easier to do. Increase your body's capacity to handle the stress that you're under. That way, it's not having a negative effect on your hormones and not having a negative effect on your metabolism. These are all things that we do in the 12 week challenge. Yes, sleep. And if you're not sleeping, <laughs> your metabolism's not working. And it like, it ruins everything else, right? It just does. I would love to say that it's like, oh, it's fine. It's totally fine. You don't need sleep. Oh, <laughs> lies, lies. You need sleep. <sighs> I don't, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm just going to tell it how it is. Right? Right. Right. Yes. Okay. So basic things to start with. There's no magic pill up here, right? There's no magic food or anything like that. Nope, nope, nope. It literally is just what it is. This is what your system needs. This is how it's going to really turn things around, get those hormones regulated, get things working properly and get you to keep these results. No more struggling, no more being frustrated or trying to force something to happen where you keep fighting, right? Like stop fighting against your body. Start working with it. Now this does take longer. I mean, that's why my challenge is 12 weeks. Anything that's less than that is not working with your hormones. Mm -hmm. Literally everything I design is for the female body and how the female physiology works. So we're starting with your structure, right? There's no quick shortcuts or anything that might seem really good for the first 30 days, but then, you know, three months later, you're like, oh, this is terrible. I have to start over. <sighs> no, no more of that. No more of that. It's all about how your system works and what your body needs. Now, if you are a, what do I, I don't really want to phrase this. Um, a more uh, unique case. I don't want to say difficult, but more unique. Say you have other health issues, other concerns, other um, thyroid issues, autoimmune issues, MTHFR, PCOS, endometriosis, adenomyosis, right? Uh, fibroids, like the list can go on and on. Don't hesitate to reach out or ask questions or when you know, when you get on the wait list, 
ask questions there. If you're in perimenopause or menopause, you're like, oh gosh, yeah, this sounds so great, but I've tried all these before. But if you haven't tried them for the female body, if you haven't been really, really flushing out the hormones, from your system, you haven't done it for the female body. If you have not started eating for your hormones, you haven't done all the things, right? Once you really start living a life for your system, it's a completely different ball game. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm here as a resource for you. If you found this helpful, please share this message with other women that you know can use this information. So many times, we are stuck, lost, wondering why we can't get the right result when really it's, you know, it's just sharing this info with other gals that you're like, oh my gosh, this was really interesting or I learned this, fantastic. Okay, yep, that's how women get more information across quicker than anything else. So I so appreciate all of you that do share this message because I, I love, love, love seeing that light bulb go off for women when they're like, oh my gosh, I haven't been doing this for my body. Oh, been missing out. Yes, don't, don't miss out anymore. Um, so other resources besides the wait list that you should get on my books that are on Amazon, YouTube channel, which is on YouTube, just Dr. Beth Westy. And then my podcast is called the female health solution. So I do have a lot of episodes on there talking about just various health things for women. One of my most popular ones, which I didn't know it was going to be popular. I didn't think it was go over that much was on anger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How women can get angry about things and how that affects your health. Hmm. Yes, yes, it's a good one. All right, let me know if you guys have any more questions um, or if you'd like any specifics on any of these things, let me know, drop a comment, and I will do a video this week on anything you have specific questions on. All right, have a great rest of your night.